Welcome back, and when we last left off, this uh, intake tray plug had been uh, fiberglassed and was uh, ready to be sprayed with putty, and as you can see, that happened. And now it's up on the mill and getting run. And here it is a little bit further along. Uh, all the faces have been done, and so just on that transition edge there, I switched to uh, 3 8 of an inch bore mill to experiment to see how that one would uh, give us the, uh, the little radiuses that we have in the corners there. Uh, came out alright, but um, probably wouldn't uh, use that one again um, initially. And these are the upper door skin plugs, so now they're ready to have a mold pulled, been waxed and had the rubber profile um, put on around those. So it's both of those all, all ready for a mold. And also here is the firewall plug, so that one also been waxed and now had the rubber profile put around there, so that one's ready to have a mold laid up uh, upon it. And last time uh, one of the things I showed you was the uh, air scoop intake uh, that was getting ready. I was working on the CAD on that. So this is the uh, foam being uh, rough milled uh, for that one. And you'll see that again in a minute. And here is the right side cowling plug, and so that one now off the mill um, a little while ago and is sprayed up uh, with some guide coat. And there's the air intake tray, so that one's uh, finished and just needs to be um, prepped for uh, sanding. And here we are a little bit further along with this uh, air intake, and you can see it really taking shape there now. So this um, path here is just running a swarf cut there with the transition uh, from the flange to the part, or the part to the flange. And I just run that just to give a nice, um, smooth, clean transition there because when you just run the face cuts on there, it doesn't always cut right down to the, the edge or the transition. So the swarf cut actually runs right along the uh, transition line. That's basically what a swarf is. It's a cut where you um, run right along uh, an edge of a line. And last time you also saw that I was laying up in CAD uh, the... Um, stands or the mounts for the uh, seats and this is now running uh, the rough cut for the rear seat uh, mounts and you'll see that again a little bit further along and so there's the uh, intake one you can see a big gouge there which uh, when it was transitioning from one path to another I didn't allow enough clearance and the bit basically hit the foam but no big deal we can feel that and there's the intake tray with the guide coat sprayed on there so that one's ready for a first round of sanding And here is our center console plug after its, I believe, first round of sanding. So that one's uh, ready for another coat of primer. And then obviously some more sanding. And meanwhile, the door frames here have been getting quite a bit of sanding. So they're moving along and they're not too far away from being uh, ready for waxing. And here are these upper door frame skins. And this time Jeff's trying an experiment here. And he's actually sprayed on this uh, black top coat. Um, instead of us, uh, you know, putting it on with a brush, so we're going to see how that uh, turns out for us. Let's put a nice uh, even coat on there. And Roberto and Chris were in uh, a few days this week, and so here they are sanding on the uh, left side uh, cowling plug. So a wet sanding, so that one's getting pretty close to being ready to be able to uh, wax that one and prep it for being having a mold uh, laid up. And here the mill's a little bit further along on these rear seat mounts and you can see a switch to the ball mill here. So the flat mill was running all the flanges and getting all those done. Now the ball mill's actually gonna um, you know, step down there and uh, trace out the whole pattern there. It's just much easier because there's all kinds of uh, little transitions and curves and stuff on that. It's just impossible to run that with a flat mill. And you wouldn't even try. And so I finished up with both of those uh, seat mounts and so now Here's the air intake scoop again, and that's uh, been uh, sprayed with putty, so that got glass quickly, uh, I believe, on uh, Thursday night. Yeah, and then Jeff sprayed it with putty yesterday and threw it back on on the machine yesterday afternoon. So um, things are really, you know, moving along now. The machine hasn't been uh, sitting idle for much more than a couple of hours uh, any given day. So this is the one for the front seat mounts and that's fresh off the machine. You can see it still has the foam around the edge there um, that needs to be uh, cleaned off and then those little, the edges on the actual part need to just be rounded a little bit with sandpaper just so when we lay the fiberglass on there it sits down nicely. 
and there's the one for the rear seat mounts and the same thing just needs to be cleaned up there around the edges and you see there's a little sort of chunk missing at the end there it's just the foam was a little bit too thin and uh, the, the machine kind of flicked it off and broke it but we'll fix that and here a bit further along with the air intake so the flange around the side has been run and it's pretty much run half of the uh, the very top of the air intake there and the finish is just coming out uh, super nice on this one and so here are these upper door frame skins and you see they've had the lightweight um, glass and carbon fiber laid up on those so next week uh, they'll be getting the heavy on those and then we'll be able to pop those molds and see how they turned out and here's our center console so that one uh, had finished the first round of sanding got another coat of primer and likewise has another um, guide coat put on there so that is ready for the last round of sanding and here's the uh, left side uh, cowling plug so that one finished the first round of sanding and got another coat of primer and guide coat so that's ready for the last round of sanding now and this is the lower dash plug and so this is on the um, the first coat of primer and getting sanded for that so uh, it's looking uh, pretty good that one didn't need too much work because it came off the mill um, you know all done with the ball mill so pretty smooth um, but yeah so it's just getting the usual treatment so one more finish on the sanding on that another coat of primer another coat of sanding will be ready for waxing and here is the front uh, seat mounts so that one you see now it's cleaned up um, all the excess foam around the edge has been removed and it's been sort of sanded and we've routed um, the edges of the actual foam there so that one's ready to have the glass put on it and likewise here is the one for the rear seat mounts and just keep in mind that these are the two mounts sort of um, mated up the tops to each other so that'll actually become two separate parts uh, not just one and lastly I'll leave you with the mill still running on this uh, air intake so this is Friday evening and still had a little bit more to do to finish the top there and then I was going to I switched it to the ball mill and then on uh, Monday I'll have a few more paths to be run uh, to finish it off Anyway, that's our update for this week. Thanks again for watching.